the relation uh, with, the, with the, the two countries, we are uh, condemned in a certain sense, in a good sense of being neighbors for the eternity. So we have to find a way, uh, the best way, to solve our problems amicably. And the uh, Geneva Agreement in 1966, which is the framework, the only juridical framework that we have to solve the conversation, the, the controversy, is uh, says exactly what we have to do about it, and that we have to follow the lines of the Geneva Agreement. So let me just uh, make sure that I understand this. There was a lot of discussion. The yeah. problem is there are two inter interpretations of the Geneva Agreement. Right. And I would say uh, I think that is the most important thing that we have to talk about, maybe, because the, the Geneva Agreement expressly disposed in its preamble that the first uh, that we uh, the matter must be resolved in a manner acceptable to both parties. Right. So no, no, we are united in the claim, but uh, I uh, would say and I insist that uh, the solution is through the Geneva Agreement and where it says that we have to look for a practical solution to the matter. And, uh, and that is precisely the problem. It, it is the, uh, the validity or invalidity of the award of 1899 that is Absolutely. what the uh, Guyana, Guyanese government says it is about the, uh, the, the Geneva Agreement, it's precisely instead they should, um, they, they, the Guyanese government should say what it means. All right, so Sadio, how, uh, how, would, you, how would you propose, Sadio? How would you propose? The the Sadio, let me show you something. This is, I don't really need to show you. Something. You hear the back and forth. I, I imagine that is. There. All right, I, I understand and I apologize for the shortness yeah. of this conversation. Let me go to Malika. Malika. Well, this is. Because, I mean, there are many, in the Geneva Agreement, there are different means to solve the problem. And uh, we, uh, our position is that the Geneva Agreement, it's the objective of the Geneva Agreement is not the validity or invalidity of the 1819 award. Because the, if Guyana uh, wanted to go to the International Court of Justice for the validity or invalidity of the 1899 award to ask to go to the Geneva, to the uh, International Sadio, Court of Justice. What do you think at might happen? Moment. This, this was still a, a conversation. But now, yeah. well, as, I, as the minister said, is a complicated affair to say in a few minutes. But yeah. I will say, if there is no agreement between the two parties, they have to refer the case to the Secretary General of the United Nations, who has to decide which mean of a peaceful solution of controversy has to be used inside the Geneva Agreement. Uh, the, the, those means of solution, of peaceful mm. solution, are in the Article 33 of the Charter of the United Nations. Right. So we, if there is no agreement between the two parties, they have to refer to the Secretary General of the United Nations. Mark? Well, we want a peaceful... Well, that is the difference between us in Venezuela. I am from the opposition, and I think, unfortunately, that after 14 or 15 years that the government has forgotten the uh, Esequibo uh, claim, now all of a sudden has become first page. And that, in that sense, I agree that uh, the possible uh, reason is related with the elections at the end of the year, where the government is in very bad situation in, uh, in the polls. So unfortunately, that's why I am saying that we have to follow the Geneva Agreement and the communication line, the normal ones, mm. and that, that is precisely the difference that we have between Venezuelans, maybe. We and yeah. the opposition are thinking, yes, the election has a lot to do with the last uh, position of the government. See, we have the Minister of Foreign Health. Uh -huh. In terms of uh, it's our neighbor and should be welcome. The problem with that question is should uh, ask to the government, yeah. uh, but uh, it should be welcome, it's our neighbor. All right. Wow. Um, all right.